Hi, this is Brittany, and you're watching Locked Queen Bee. Hi guys, this is Brittany, Locked Queen Bee, and I'm back with another video. This video, what I want to talk about is a book that I just finished reading by Emma de Beery, if I'm saying her name correctly. So we're going to jump into this book and just my opinion and my feedback on it. And yeah, let's jump into it. So in this video, what I really want to focus on is basically the natural hair movement. And I'm just going to refer to her as Emma so I don't um, mispronounce her name. So in her book, Emma really focused on what the state of the natural hair movement was. And what I got from it was that for the longest time, black women, black hair, we have been told that our hair needs to look a certain way. It needs to be straightened, it needs to be stretched, and it just needs to look like the hair on white women's head. And obviously, that's not how our hair is supposed to look. And so now you have the natural hair movement where people are going back to the state of what their hair naturally looks like. And so this is where you jump into the hair typing system from the ones to the four. Most of the focus is obviously going to be on people in the threes and the fours. And what Emma said in her book basically was that you search in the natural hair movement, but a lot of it is, again, focusing on the European standard of how our hair is supposed to look. So for natural hair people, what that means is that your hair has to have a certain curl pattern. It needs to be curled a certain way. And for a lot of us who have four type hair, our hair is not going to look like that. So here we are having to use a lot of products to make our hair look a way that it doesn't naturally look. And so I obviously had some experiences with this myself. So um, a little bit about my hair journey, if you're not already aware. In 2012, I believe August 2012, I stopped relaxing my hair and I basically grew my hair out. I did not big chop until maybe April or May of 2013, I believe. And um, that's when I just had my natural texture. And once my hair got a little bit longer, I started experimenting with products that would make my hair curl a certain way. And I have to be honest, my hair, the way that my hair was um, meant to curl with the product. So obviously the products would define my curls um, so that they just pop a little bit more. And I actually didn't think that that look looked good on me. So you know, I had to do a lot to make my hair look that way. I had to put in a lot of product. I had to put my hair in ponytails so that my hair was stretched and that my curls were stretched so that when my hair dried, my curls stayed stretched out and long. They didn't shrink up like my hair naturally wants to do. And so um, that led me to doing um, twists a lot. So I started with big chunky twists and then I gradually moved down to smaller twists, mini twists, and I really loved that look on me. I loved the maintenance and just how easy it was to wear my hair in different styles with the mini twist. And so that is what led me to micro lock. I initially wanted sister locks, but for um, some reason um, there was an issue with my consultant. Not necessarily an issue, but she just didn't feel like she was the right consultant for me at the time. And you know, that was the um, second or third person that I had physically been to um, to discuss getting sister locks. And um, you know, it's fine, it didn't work out. I um, ended up putting in braid locks in, so I saved myself the money. I um, was able to make my hair look for the most part how I wanted it to look. And so with that, what I want to share with you all is that with the natural hair movement, I think it's really important for you to really find your way in your hair journey. You, For me, it was a blessing because I got to experience different stages of natural hair. Of course, I had the big chop, short hair, I had the long hair with the products and the curls, the popping curls and all of that, and then the twist, and now I have locks. So I think for me, um, to drive it back home to Emma's point, I really think that the, I really appreciate the natural hair movement, but I feel like it doesn't really speak to me anymore. I don't want to be a product junkie, and the reason why I'm saying that and smiling is because um, my sister, she, as I've been saying, she is a loose natural and so she's really experimenting with different products that will keep her hair healthy and make her hair grow. And so 
me i am not interested in that i want to have a simple routine as possible and with micro locks for the most part my routine needs to be simple and i don't need to use a lot of product and so what i really appreciated about reading emma's book was that she called the natural hair movement out and said hey you know you're about natural hair but you don't you aren't inclusive of type 4 hair the hair that you're showing, the hair that you're glamorizing, the hair that is at the forefront of the natural hair movement is hair that doesn't naturally look like 4A hair. It's the hair that's in the 3s, the 3A, the 3B, the 3C. It's the loose wavy curl, the loose spirally curl. It's not hair that is type 4. And so, you know, I personally don't have a problem with that. Um, people can do whatever they want with their hair, but I know that for me what speaks to me is having locks and having a simple routine. And so I really think that overall this was a good read and it just made me feel so proud to have type 4 hair. It made me proud of having locks and our hair has been through a lot. It has survived a lot and something interesting that I read in the book was that at some point during slavery, um, black women, they as always, black women have been taking care of their hair, making it look awesome, making it look great, and all of that. And so at some point, white women didn't like the way that black women's hair looked and the attention that it was attracting, especially from white men. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right, but there was a, I guess, Tignan law that was put into place. And basically, this law was made so that black women legally had to cover their hair and basically not attract the attention of white men. And that was interesting for me because um, where I live, you see a lot of women walking around with their sleep caps on, their hair scarves and all of that. And I never really thought about the bigger picture behind that. Obviously, um, you know, you're protecting your hair, you're not exposing it to the elements, but there's a deeper history behind why black women cover their hair and I thought that that was something interesting I had never heard that before and it just opened my eyes to a lot of things when it comes to black hair and I actually hope that you all you know pick up this book give it a read it is very academic there's a lot of research there's a lot of quotes in it but I do overall think that it is a very educational read and I hope that you pick it up I do want to comment that this is actually the second book that I've read with the name Twisted. So this one was by a female author and the second one was by a male author. And in the Twisted book by the male author, he focused on like his natural hair and growing dreadlocks and just having locks. Not necessarily um, the same journey and experience that Emma had in her book called Twisted, but I thought that both were great reads. And what I liked about both books was that, you know, they had the same title, they spoke to natural hair, and they spoke to um, how both men and women experience natural hair, how they, how it impacts them in their work life, in their personal life, and I just felt that both books were a good read, and I really do hope that you at least, if you don't read both of them, I hope that you at least read one of them. I know we live this experience every day, but to see the history behind it, the education, the research behind it, is truly empowering, and I hope you do read it. So that's all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I do have another video coming out soon, and I hope that you guys all stay tuned for it, and thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to leave me any comments or feedback in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye. <laughs>